It's time for more Mario and Rabbids. Welcome back. Last time we did some stuff in World 2 to get the last spark that was on the map. There is still stuff to do here, but I think I would rather move on to World 3 and see what that's about. Also, I feel like the last few videos, or the last couple at least, may have been a bit, or may have been like me being a bit quiet I'm just not very talkative. But I guess that's not necessarily a problem. I, I don't know, just, just thinking out loud. Let's go to Acornland. I suppose... People think that I am a relaxing sort of videos person. So that make that's fine. Known for the warm orange and yellow foliage of its woodlands, its ambrosial pumpkin spice. Always with the pumpkin spice. And uplifting poetry. I've been waiting to visit for ages. Poetry. The presence of dark mess energy on this planet has obstructed the natural active synthesis of anthocyanin pigments, leaving its forest canopies drab while its labyrinthian woods swallow visitors in a shroud of impenetrable darkness. Sounds fun. Where enchanted creatures observe and consider whether to help or to harm. So we don't really have a weather problem here. We have a color problem. I guess that makes sense with the name of it. Also, pumpkin spice is overrated. I've never actually tried pumpkin spice stuff, surprisingly enough. Wait, Genie! Was that a joke? Maybe it was. Maybe that's Genie's actual opinion on pumpkin spice. Who can say? Regardless, I guess. Spooky woods. Okay, there's still some trees that are alright. There's at least one rabbit running around and panicking. We've got another, like, village of sorts when there wasn't much of one before. Hmm. Mm. What have what? you, leaf haloed and bosom friend? Arboreal wisdom to recommend? Ah, uh, poetry is here. With different subtitles. Royal beast, what solace do you bring? Arias of hope you hope to sing. Sing! Rip. But what is this? Hope that flies on eagles' wings. Hmm. Are you cursed? Or is that just coincidence? What approach was that? Did you optimize your landing protocols? Or did Rabbit Luigi spill chili on the orbiter controls again? Again? We've barely had this ship for like, I guess, in-game playtime of approximately 14 and a half hours. How many times can you spill chili on the orbiter controls? I guess as many times as you have chili. The hard landing was caused by abnormal interference, not dark mess related, but perhaps dramatist related? I see. So your cursed poetry causes bad luck Be or gone, something. Begone, friends! Begone! And pray you never see such universal sorrow, for hope fled before thee. This is T.S. Woodrow, warden of Pallet Prime and locally famous amateur poet, mostly self-published. I see. Oh, whoa! Whoa! A golden ruby cover. I think that's how you say that word. Now dead and grey and dross, more horrid than this torture. I am too numb to feel their loss. All right. I'd say your poetry's doing all right so far. The trees are being drained of the anthocyanin pigmentation and carotenoid compounds needed to change color. Yes. This is undoubtedly the work of a dark mess tentacle somewhere inside the spellbound woods. Requiem! Requiem! We spoke the loud true clarion. Farmers are left for carrion. Life's a king-sized bust. The end. 
Well, all right. Elsewhere in the town plaza, villagers are being terrorized by a second tentacle and something else that's tearing it apart. Something else, you say? However, the bridge to the plaza is destroyed. That's an interesting ghostly rabid creature over there as well. The only other access is through a secret passage underneath Woodrow's home. Well, seems we have a set of goals. Get on that from a few lines of really depressing poetry. Advanced AI techniques. Oh, farewell, Woodrow. An analysis of all 7.643 of Woodrow's poems divulged his communication and thought patterns. I, I suppose I understand him. Forest be fouled by darkness? A village cut off and under siege? That's a lot of poems, by the way. An impressive amount. We're not going to have time to go to an apple pressing while we're here, are we? Not yet. Wait until the credits montage where we go check up on everybody and how they're doing after we've saved the universe, Beepo. That's how this works. Well. The Fallen King, you say? That sounds important. Yo! Well, Woodrow, what say you? Oh, the horror. Tragedy in town, horror in the forest, two halves of a bitter fruit near fiendish root. Once a fine and goodly place. Now reduced to a disgrace, or some other such line. Curse's minions busted our bridge, and now I can't bring my wares to market. Please, I have zero other skills. Your wares appear to be fallen leaves. I'm sure there's value for that in things such as compost and whatnot. But I, I'm not sure what kind of value that would be. I predict invisible roads. Or some such. Let us head in this direction, and proceed forthwith with our inspection. Whom's might you be, new enemy? I don't know if I'm with enemy, so I'm just going to kill you. <laughs> Perish. Let's learn about this new enemy type. A bridge to fear. Defeat Medicians. Hmm. We've got... Oh, Disco. We've got Disco. Look out for the, these Medicians. They can heal their allies and put up team barriers to protect them. Ah, oh, crap. Definitely prioritize these. We even have a shock super effect that spreads from its original target to other heroes nearby. So this world, I think, is going to be great, because I do love an autumn world, and I do love a spooky forest. What's your motivation, you ask? Me! If you win, I get to ride your coattails out of here. Fair enough. Also, I like the music already, the aesthetic and stuff as well. Weak to ooze. Understood. Ooze is what we must use. Also, I should heal. Lest I feel pain. Alright, let's take a look. Defeat Medician specifically. We only have one method of applying ooze. Also, they don't really have a lot of people to heal right now because there's a lot of Goombas that will just be destroyed. Also, these are like spring jump pads that I'm guessing may be explained shortly. Let's see, who do we want for this? Actually? Edge can slide twice right now. I could rearrange skill trees and whatnot. But I don't really want to. And sliding twice seems quite valuable.
may also be a good time to use some sort of dashing one. Not Electro, because they are resistant to that. No, I'll be mostly dashing into the Goombas, though, is the thing. So, maybe not, actually. Um... Movability damage increase is useful, though. Someone else has that, I think. I mean, you have that. But... That's where it is. That's what I was thinking of. Hmm. For now, this will work. I don't know what the Disco Spark will do, but I guess we'll find out eventually. This seems like a reasonable team, though. Well, hold on, let me check, let me double check what Rosalina, Rabbit, Rosalina's, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Does this count as my super jump? Signs point to no. Alright, everybody get over here. can just go over and get the rest of those Goombas if Rapid Rosalina goes over here. Well, at least these three. Great That's good enough. Spoon. You just said Great Horn Spoon. You really do take after the, the captain. That's adorable. Uh, time for you to die. And I guess Mario will just hang out back here. Oh, yeah. Uh, this could be helpful. But I'm not sure. I'll wait it out. Oh, right, you have barriers, too. That's what you can do. You can also shoot a laser beam. Okay. I forgot about the barriers part. Now I can do that. And then do this. Why is there one that'll live? There we go. Can't hide. No living allowed. I don't know what will show up out of this portal. But I won't appreciate it. That'll at least be something. Seriously? Hmm. Is this worth the danger? 
Yes, if I do this. Well, that's good enough. I guess. Oh, well, that works too. Okay, that's a lot of damage. I should probably start investing into health. I think. Might be wise. This is a quick fight. I only have to destroy these three. Actually, like, this is a pretty involved fight, all things considered, for just being a random encounter. I suppose I don't need to invest in health necessarily. Because I. It's not that expensive to heal either, so. Much to consider, I guess. All that said. I heard there's a secret passage in Woodrow's home leading to the Palletville Plaza. Perk of the job, I guess. I mean, it makes sense. This, I assume, to be the house in question. And this I assume to be the secret passage in question. I should maybe check to see if there's anything else in the house, though. Never mind. I will not be doing this. Our path to the village plaza is blocked by a chasm. How is this a convenient shortcut? Can anyone shed some light on that for me? Shed some light, you say? Such as a spark that sheds light to reveal invisible paths? Looks like I lit upon you just in time, then. Mario is very alarmed by this. But I thought we left you on Beacon Beach. Yeah, I thought you sounded familiar. You did, but with all the Spark Hunter talk, I thought I'd be better off with you, so I followed you here. That makes a lot of sense. But I'm not here to be a burden. In fact, if you need help, maybe I can maybe I can lighten your load. Time for Beepo power. I can see the light! Thank you, Beepo. Well, no, you can... As well, I think. well no, you can make the light that lets you see. Also, you've been imbued with puns relevant to the situation. Scan. Previews or reveals clues or details invisible to our heroes. Hold ZL. Cool. I need to double check to see if there's anything upstairs first. Oh, the stairs are blocked by depressing buckets. This house seems designed to be depressing, which I, I suppose is on brand, so good job, Woodrow. Except for the rubber duck that was there. Press ZL to use Beepo's scan power, even if he grumbles about it. I don't know, Beepo seems pretty happy about it to me. I like the aesthetic of this world quite a bit so far. Light at the end of the tunnel. I believe I've said that already, and yet. Okay, so things are approximately at the level of power that we are. Another new enemy type, depleters. 
I'm going to guess that you debuff as Rabid Luigi do. Also, I should, like, investigate the new spark that I got. Maybe I should consider, like, redoing everyone's skill trees at some point as well. Because that's free. Enemies within range are pulled towards the hero's position. That makes sense. That could be very useful for certain characters. But I don't think that's typically my playstyle, really. Fair enough, though. This is probably one of the better uses for coins, just generally. Alright, you are just a flaming stooge. What do you do? Gets in close and restores some of its health at the expense of its opponent with each successful assault. Okay, that's completely not what I was expecting. Technique that allows it to immediately respond to attacks with a counter attack. Evil counter blow. Oh! You're rabid Mario with life drain. Sort of. Weird, but okay. What do we want to do about that? Are you prevented from using your counter if you are hit with the super effect that would interrupt it? Because you are weak to shock. So shock and splash are useful here. You're all sort of hiding behind stuff. And I also don't know the extent of what counter... the extent of what moves you can counter. Like, uh... Does the stomp count? Does the dash count? I don't know. Alright, let's give somebody electricity, at least. Uh... I guess, and then... If I can't be directly targeted, does that also help? I don't know how much I really need 100% crit chance instead of 80% crit chance. But I don't know, maybe. Um... Also, I guess that is helpful for counters, maybe. So, it might be more helpful to have Peach for the shielding, actually. Edge has multiple dashes and can do the lightning dash, which seems useful. Uh... Do I want this on the same character or on separate characters? I don't know. Uh, it's probably fine. The shield can help me figure out who or what can be counterattacked specifically as well. Like, uh... Okay, Edge... Doesn't have much movement range, I guess. Let's go ahead and use the shield now. Now this will probably be countered, right? Okay, that's actually helpful. No. And, uh... Oh, yeah. oh, wait, no, you have to activate the technique. Right, right, it's like the Mario, rabbit Mario one. I don't know why I was expecting it to just be passive. That would be kind of too much. 
Probably. Uh... Yeah, I think it's fair to say that people are within range. But that's probably fine. Okay, not quite. I thought maybe with the crit. But I feel like there's probably, there could be ways to get around the counter. Do I want to make sure you're dead? Probably. Sure, why not? Also, I guess I'm using Rabbit Rosalina a lot less than I thought I would. Because I kind of thought I would use Rabbit Rosalina... ...a bunch, and I have, but I'm still swapping out other characters. Like, I was like, oh, this is the best character in the universe, but she is good. She's got kind of a very specific sort of skill set. So you are countering, but you will get killed by this. So it doesn't matter. Um, you are countering, I believe. I'm not sure if I can get over there, but maybe. With the jump pads, I maybe can. Up you go. Oh, thought I was super jumping from Peach, but no. Okay. I'm going to try some stuff. Let's go. Well, I guess that worked. I wasn't sure if that would destroy you completely, but... I suppose it did. Um... Right. I still need to figure out... I don't know if a dash will provoke the counter or not. Doesn't count as okay. It does count as moving. Well, that was effective. What else can we do? This one will probably attack Mario, right? Yeah, I don't know if I can maybe do something about that. Ah, I didn't even think about how that hit both of them. Well, I'll take some damage, but it's okay. That's a lot of life steal. Or at least you don't steal all of the life that you deal. Well, you do a lot of damage. 
And you're here now too, I guess. Can you counter upwards? Surely, yes. Okay, you steal life with that, too. We're in a bit of danger here now. Edge is over here. Which is not the most helpful place to be. <laughs> really? Well, that's fine, I guess. Let's see. Really? Alright. Well, you can't be targeted directly, so I guess there's still some benefit to that. Uh... Well, it just needs super jump, so... Seems you can't quite counter that. Counter this! Oh, you resist it. You will counter it, actually. <laughs> Whoops! Okay! I forgot you resisted that. Well, that's fine. Not the best turn. Just Not the best fight. Uh I did my best. Not really, but I did I did adequately. I was able to win. I succeeded at the video game. Uh, heal. <laughs> yeah, probably need to invest in health somewhere, I would say. Hey, that wasn't the end of the tunnel at all. It was described as the end of the tunnel, but it's not. Don't stand on that. Now this is the end of the tunnel. The end of a tunnel, at the very least. Maybe it's time to start using Rapid Peach more instead of like... Oh, I need to invest in hell, because there's multiple things. Here we are in the plaza. That tentacle puts all future apple pressings in Palletville at grave risk. OK, 
Okay, we got the healer over there. A house. I'll enter and see. Well, there is a there is a cellar. Yep. A young Woodrow is reciting his first poem just before the great tree blight of Palad Prime strikes. It took 500 leaf blowers to tidy up afterwards. Residents were fined a million coins due to the noise violations. Woodrow really is cursed, huh? Well. Present. Guess we have to go back in through this way. Just an extra loading screen. So what are we going on around here? Well, there's the tentacle. There's violence happening. What's all the violence? Oh, it's Bowser. Hey, Bowser! How you doing? Oh, that's not just Bowser. That's also... one of the Spark Hunters. We've seen your silhouette. Ah. They also recognize Edge. Ah! Bowser's super out. Oh. Bowser's super getting owned technique. By the way, Bowser's in this game. I didn't think we'd get Bowser. I didn't think Bowser would show up so soon after Rabbit Rosalina did. That round fella? That's what we're calling Bowser? That round fella, a friend of yours? Oh, mama. We could ask you the same about that stone-faced but oddly attractive woman. Rabbit Mario, please, don't Spark say things Spark like Hunter. Spark Hunter. Name's Bedrock, and she's no friend of mine. Bowser's no friend of ours either. Does a lot of kidnapping a Princess Peach. Still, we can't leave him to the dark mess, can we? Bowser's been a friend before. Well, I guess it's Bowser time. Hey, Bowser time. That's exciting. I didn't think we'd I didn't think that would happen so quickly. Blast through the bedrock. I also didn't think we'd fight bedrock so quickly. What? Are we already at another boss fight? Seems a bit weird, but you know that's All fine. Strength, even the mighty Bowser is helpless in the dark mist I mentioned without a spark-powered weapon. Good thing Bowser has one for some reason, maybe. We do have a weapon we can spare. It was designed for Rabid Mario, but proved too heavy for him to wield effectively. Oh, well that's convenient. No, 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 no. Not true. It chafed my skin. Hey, Bowser. Wait, why? What do you mean this was designed for Rabbit Mario? It just has Bowser written all over it. Well, that seems good. Bowser enjoys this. Well, all right. It's Bowser time, I guess. Let's learn about Bowser. I'm guessing Bowser has a large AoE attack. Bedrock is too strong for our attacks to cause much damage. Try luring her onto those explosive traps first. Manage the team. Does Bowser have any sparks? No, of course not. Overseer. Well, let's learn about Bowser. Shines when launching area of its area attacks and spawning minions to do his bidding. 
Okay. I expected the AoE thing because I did see that Bowser had like a a cannon. But, you know, Bowzooka. Exploding projectile that deals damage throughout the target area ignores partial cover. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Rabid Mecha Koopas. To chase the closest foe and explode on contact. Interesting. All right. Let's learn about Bowser's skill tree. Critical hit damage, weapon range. Damage drop off. Demolisher. Oh, that's not what I was expecting for some reason. Okay, what's this over here? Cooldown, blast damage. That seems pretty good. They have burn. Oh, Bowser's the first one to just have a status effect. I think. That seems good. Uh, Maybe this. Although I do kind of just want to throw everything at the weapon. That's what I'll be using the most after all. And then we can... Start investing over here. Hmm. Yeah, that seems like a good start. All right. All right. And for your sparks, you can cause a big AoE of element. I'm guessing that... Well, let's find out. Resistant to burn. Viciously stomps opponents and leaps out of reach. When hit, becomes enraged and will pursue her assailant, rushing headlong into whatever lay in her path. Gotcha. So that's how we lure her into the tr into the mines. Now, who do we want for this? I think we do. I think I do start need. I think I do need to start using Rapid Peach more, again, because I'm taking a lot of damage. Bowser and the princesses. Sure, why not? Seems reasonable. Uh, so you resist fire. You are probably vulnerable to other super effects to some degree. That seems helpful because you chase people, but also it says you resist damage, or I was told you resist damage at the very least. Um, what should Bowser have is the question. And what should Rabbit and Peach have is also the question. I just realized this is 50% more now, but that's quite a lot. Uh... Sure. Um, could be useful. I'll give you the attack buff, although it probably won't be a major increase for each of your smaller hits. No, actually, maybe I should give that to Bowser. I think. I think Bowser gets that. You can have... Hmm... Okay, what elements are present on this map? Are the enemies going to be causing elements? No, just the lifesteal ones. Also, this is quite an arena. Okay. Uh, so. The life steely ones are weak to shock, so I should bring that. Some characters. Hmm.
I'm doing a lot of thinking here. Possibly more than is necessary. Uh, might as well have some AoE options. And I think Bowser... Should Bowser have shock? Actually? Now hold on. Yeah, because of the AoE. And then... Uh... Someone needs to have this. Because it's helpful. Alright. That's probably okay. That was a lot of planning. Bowser sound. So that's quite the AoE you got there. Up, but up, but up. It's Bowser time. Now, those are the explosions I'm meant to. This, quite, this has quite the range. So I guess I'll start with this. They would also- this would put these here. Okay. This might also... Also great Bowser pose here. Uh... Hmm. Or do I want to actually do this? Just to have that part, also. <laughs> this has made this a little bit more difficult. But I'll put these. Let's learn about Bowser. Bowser seems pleased with this. Are these just gonna... Okay. Okay, Bowser is not immune. But he thinks it's funny, so that's okay. Um... So that's about how much you move. Which means you probably are within range. But yeah, Bowser's gonna get beaten up a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Unless, of course, I continue attacking to lure Bedrock onto the explosives as instructed. Which would require me to be over there. Okay. Ow. Yeesh. Dangerous move, but fine. could go badly, but I'm curious to see how it goes. Well, those are the explosives I was told about, so, um... I guess you are not centered within them quite enough, or you have to do the ground slam into them or something. 
This could also cause problems for my other characters. I wonder if this works on you. It sure does. That gives me time to leave later. Uh, I guess that's good. Well. Somehow that happened. So wait, what am I supposed to do with these explosives exactly? Bowser's dash does like the the shell slide thing. Uh... I'm afraid I don't fully understand the. You have to ground pound them. Understandable. Oh, Bowser's here now. And there's many of those, so I have to lure you to all of the points, I guess. Okay. Now I understand a bit more. And that's why there's so many jump pads littered around so that I can traverse more easily. and get into position to do such a thing. <laughs> this will cause problems, though, I think, actually. Actually, I can... I have a plan for this, actually. Uh... I didn't make it to the jump pad, which kind of makes the plan more difficult. I hope I am still within... I am not within range. Okay, uh, that's a problem. I meant to shield those two, but for some reason I didn't get to the jump pad correctly. So I just wasted that, I guess. Uh, I shoot you. I guess. God, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I've already screwed up significantly. I can heal. I guess. Uh, I can make you leave. I don't think that's helpful. Um... I can set you on fire. I don't... That, okay, you resist that, actually, so that's also not helpful. Um... Okay. What I actually want to do is... That. Uh-huh. 
so I can be further away. I think. That'll at least be something. Use your items! Oh. I didn't know who you would try to destroy. I guess it was Peach. Okay. Well, I mean... Might as well. Then... I did activate this, so... I will let you team jump. Use the barrier. See, my playstyle is a good one to use uh, Peach and Rabbit Peach with because my playstyle is making mistakes. And, uh, well. Okay, that's probably an unnecessary second layer defense, honestly, but. Fine. Uh, I guess I want you over here. Uh, so. That's how I can get Bowser to team jump, I think. Assuming Bowser can do that. Bowser can do that. Then you... We want you to go this way. You're not quite here. Meaning, I'm just going to have to tank a hit, I guess. <laughs> Unless for whatever reason this is close enough. There's no way I can make you attack again, exactly. But I do have all the ways to tank the hits, and that's... I guess that's fine. I can do this. That's better than nothing. Uh, I could do this. Is that going to make you counter? Seems like no. Fair enough. But you will take a small amount of poison damage now. Okay, you're still not on the point. That's a lot of Goombas. Also a lot of Goombas. I don't follow exactly what happened there. That's fine. Um, <laughs> healing. It makes things more alive. And slows the game down. Um, 
Well... You haven't actually attacked yet. Not that you really can. Okay, you can super jump. I keep calling it super jump, but it's a team jump. Oh, come on now. How difficult does it have to be to lure you into the right position? <laughs> this is getting silly. Look, just move this way. Thank you. Now anyone can fire, and it's fine, actually. Also, Rabbit Rosalina got poisoned somehow, I guess, so that's, that's fine. Uh... Well... Wait a second for that. I don't think that's helpful for this situation. I could use items and reposition everybody. Which is probably wise. I only have one of these. Okay. So, never mind on that. The one person who's most vulnerable has no actions. We'll just let things happen. need to do that. <laughs> Is this boss going to have multiple phases? Because that's going to be scary, if so. be possible now? Depending on exactly how much you move. Okay. If I had moved in a better order, maybe. Huh. 
I'd be sad if this hurt Pete. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, that counted though. And Peach is almost dead as a result, which is bad. Peach is going to die, actually. Um, no, I can still save Peach, I think. Maybe. Uh, what's your range of attack? I think I want you over here. And you over here for right now. Everyone just hide for a second. This is a lot more dangerous than the previous boss fight, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we want to go over there. There's quite a bit of activity happening over there. Truthfully. Bowser, why are you making them face that way? This will cause a lot of chaos. I wonder if the fire was a bad investment. Okay, Bowser only lights, lights on fire if burning enemies touch Bowser. Which they probably will. But it's funny, so it's fine, I guess. Maybe. Bowser is here now! Congratulations, Bowser! Actually, that's such minimal damage, too, is that it's probably okay. Uh... Bowser's over here now. That's just the way it is. This does cost a... Um, I'm not sure what I intend to do over here, actually. I think this was a bad move. Nah, it's probably fine, because other people can get over there eventually. This is also where I need to be, actually. Peach has a shorter glide time than everybody else somehow. I guess I need to fix that. By the way, the audio desync on my side problem is happening quicker today for some reason. 
I don't know. Weird. I mean, that has nothing to do with anything, and hopefully the video is fine. It's probably fine. Just a... Just something to think about, I guess. Ow. Bowser thinks it's funny over there. Uh... Not everybody is in range, I think. Okay, they are, actually. I think we can manage this. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. get everybody over here, roughly. And we're good. Now I just need to shoot. Shield should block the, uh... Of this, and I think that should also be enough to. Yeah, bedrock is gone. Bowser, get crystal. Congratulations to Bowser. Classic Bowser pose too. So, do you think this is the whole team or what? I think there's space for one more in the reserve. Actually. There could be a character that was not described. I know there's a future character, but that's in a separate DLC that has nothing to do with these... this group, for the most part. Bowser and the princesses win! After a lot of trial and tribulation. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was a difficult one. Hmm? Chip? Some sort of vine type boss. Also, other people saddened by edges switching sides. <laughs> Luigi's like, aw, we didn't get to do a murder. Aw, shucks. Aw, jeez. Okay, anyway, hi, Bowser. How you doing? Oh, well. Yeah, alright, that works. Thanks. How you, how, you, how you doing, though? Well, Wimps, a thank you would be nice. I did save your lives just now. I guess that's the Bowser voice. Welcome to the Bowser voice, too. Well, that's fine by me. <sighs> Never mind all that. What are you doing here, Bowser? Good question, Bowser. <laughs> ah, looking for Cursor, same as you. I don't know where that voice was going. It corrupted my army of weak-minded imbeciles, and I want them back. Ah. Fair enough. Beepo, by allowing Bowser to join us, our mission success rate increases by 11.34756%. That's a very specific number. That's up from... The estimated probability given to pigs sprouting wings and flying. So, 0 to 11 point whatever. 
<laughs> that sounds about right. No wonder you're trying to trick me into leading your little wuss brigade. <laughs> I love when Bowser's allowed to have dialogue. Absolutely not. I don't care what the odds are. Right, Mario? Look, we've teamed up with Bowser before and it's been fine. Don't worry, I promise not to pound you into bits until after I pummel Cursa and rule the galaxy again. And so Bowser. Congratulations to Bowser. It's Bowser. He's Bowser. Her. <laughs> I agree. Still not a four-person party, but that's limited to special missions, I guess. I think you could... maybe fit one extra portrait down there. But that would be pushing it. So we'll see. But there is plenty of the game left to go, so, you know, maybe. Yeah, the audio is like way behind on my end at this point. I think it's probably okay for most people. Damage for those, sure. Uh, you know, let's start let's start getting some health. I think actually could be good. Just in general. I think Bowser has, like, relatively more health anyway, maybe? Oh, I already got some for Rabbit Mario. Maybe HP chill out isn't actually that helpful. I don't know. We'll we'll figure stuff out. Yeah, Bowser has a little bit more HP in general, I think. Right then. Well, that was uh Oh, right, we have memory. We have to learn about uh the boss that we just fought. Bedrock. Another spark hunter crossed our path. Bedrock. Cursa has merged rabid DNA with an inanimate object. In this case, a coarse granite rock. Massive, hard, and tough. Bedrock is impossibly strong. An unstoppable force let loose upon the sparks. Our sole advantages are that she is as dense as the granite she sprang from, as well as our alliance with Bowser whom Bedrock respects as her equal in combat. Don't be mean to Bedrock, she's doing her best. And on that note, it is time to end the video. Thank you for watching. This has been Mario plus Rabbids, now plus Bowser. Say hello to Bowser, Bowser's grumpy. Hello, Bowser. Farewell, Bowser. Right.